now we are going to continue from our previous video in the previous lecture um, in the previous video what we have done we have done this this is a non inverting type configuration of the op amp amplifier now we will modify this network to make it inverting type so what will be the basic difference the basic difference will be that the input will be connected to the inverting input of the amplifier plus the positive input will be connected to the ground and because of this what we will see we will see that there will be a phase shift in between the input and the output so everything is same now I'm going to run the simulation now you can see this the amplification is almost the same we will calculate it again first we stop this and let's um, adjust the scale value so that they can overlap each other and we can see the phase shift over here now you can see the red is the input and the blue is the output so when there is a high in the input there is a low at the output and when there is a low at the input there is a high at the output so this is perfectly uh, complementing each other at the output so there is uh, a 180 degree phase shift in between input and output that is why it is called inverting type configuration uh, right and um, the expression to calculate the gain is a little bit modified and it refers to as this one minus rf divided by ri so here for example if you need to have a voltage gain of 100 so what values you need to set so for in this example they said it is okay 2.2 ohms with the form with the gain given so what you have to do you have to do a reverse calculation little bit to find the value of feedback resistance so we find it out as 220 clones so we can use these values exactly here just to verify that okay what uh, what we are getting it should give us 100 times so now you can see it is much more amplified so now we need to increase this scale in order to see this signal properly now you can see this if you have a gain of 100 so 10 millivolts peak means 20 millivolts peak to peak which is our red signal and if we multiply using the calculator here 0 0.02 that is the 20 millivolt signal at the input multiply it with 100 so it should become 2 volts peak to peak and you can see here the output is 1 2 3 4 perfectly 4 boxes multiply by 500 millivolts that is 2 volts peak to peak and uh, again you can see the phase inversion in between the input and output is there so this is how um, you can uh, implement the inverting amplifier configuration for the operational amplifier so this is all for this lecture thank you very much see you next time inshallah assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh